Hello everybody, Pulsaurus Jr. here, and I am playing Terraria Co-op, my good buddy, DJ. Hello everybody. But today he's Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> he's an old man, uh, but you're not a volleyball. No. No, no. Not, not I wanted to, wanted to make him look like a volleyball, but I thought, no, let's make him look like an old dude instead. <laughs> Just an old volleyball man. He was an old volleyball player, that's what I heard, Olympic player. <laughs> so DJ and I are going to do a little uh, co-op terraria here. We play for a bit today, we might turn this into a kind of a regular series and play occasionally. We're starting out fresh. DJ is kind of a, he's a pro though, so he's going to make me look like a noob. I don't know if I'm pro, but... <laughs> <laughs> Compared to me. <laughs> Believe me, you will look pro. Have you seen well, any of that Marvin the Martian stuff that I've been doing? Oh yeah, I've seen all oh, of them. Oh gosh, I've been keep, it's terrible. I, keep track of it. <laughs> I have fun, but you know, it's not it's not wonderful. But today right, I'm really a nerdist. Yeah, I pretty much have enough resources right now to get us a house going. So cool. Let me know what you need me to do. I'm gonna go collect a little more wood, and then I'll plant some trees. Hey, you're making a you're making a mansion over there. Actually, this is not going to be the in, the size of the entire house. I was okay. thinking uh, make a little floor, dance yeah, floor. Yeah, I got a I got a little uh like trick for the blood moon protection. Ah, <laughs> uh, I've heard about that. People tell me that in the comments and I haven't even seen a blood moon yet. Oh, actually I have. I think in the last episode, but I was underground. Slime. So yeah, I'm Leonardis. I don't know if you can see my name on this uh, in the audience and the viewers, but how do I oh, show actually, my name? Um, show my inventory. If you right? you hit escape, go into your inventory. You'll see the little shields on the oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yep. uh, click like oh, white, I think. Okay. That or red. On, on the same team, right? Yeah, click red actually, because I just joined red. <gasps> Leonardus was slain. Well, there's my name. <laughs> in all its glory. <laughs> yeah, I saw it too. This was slain. All right, let me. Uh, it's killed by Persians. All right, so I'm gonna hit the white <laughs> the Persian slime. <laughs> it's the Persian slime. <laughs> now we've got, we're gonna have to cre recreate the hot gates here. Yeah, exactly. We just need 298 more guys. All right. So, wait, I can't click the white. Oh, PVP. Oh yeah, don't don't click the uh Yeah, don't click the PvP. <laughs> oh I'm red. Yep, I'm on red. Oh, so. I was white anyway, so we're, it's already I think defaulted to with silver or whatever it is. Are uh, you want you want the work room up there or just I can put a bench right down here. Uh we'll we'll have a basement too. The 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 point that I'm about to make with this is nice the entrances aren't gonna be on the sides. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so these aren't going to be doors where I'm looking. Nope. I'll show you right quick. Now, if we go straight down... You just right wanted to get me in here alone, didn't you? <laughs> 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 I'm in jail. Alright. You're doing all the work. Oh, I'm just setting Wilson. up a little basic house right now. You want to go this way? Yeah, I do the same thing. I do just a basic floor. Uh, top floor, my house is not very spectacular, and then a um, basement and a second floor. I don't spend a lot of time in my house. Huh. I'm usually out, you know, digging around, looking for trouble. Well, it's a pretty good idea to uh, have a good house, because I haven't encountered one, but I've seen videos of goblin invasions. Oh, yeah, I haven't heard I've heard of it, haven't seen it. And they break doors down. Oh, do they? Yeah, they don't just open <laughs> doors, they break them down. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, that's so cool. And we were talking um, before we started recording how Minecraft really needs something like that if you're an adventure-style player. And I totally agree with that. I right, got a few torches up here. How far are we going to go? Found some iron, by the way. Go just past the wood. I shall pass the wood. So DJ is um, a master of dwarf fortress. 
<laughs> so if you're familiar with that game or if you're not familiar with that game, go check out his channel on YouTube and I'll put a link in the description. He's got some awesome tutorials. He did some for Fogey Gaming as well. And uh, they're, they're awesome. And I've been meaning to play that game. For years I've been looking at it. But um, I've just never taken the time to sit down and give it a go. The learning curve. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather large. <laughs> yeah. I found another game with a very, very large learning curve that I, I couldn't let defeat me. Yeah. <laughs> called, it's called X... X3 uh, Terran Conflict. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I never played it, but I do remember when it came out. Oh, yeah. That's uh, quite the amazing <laughs> yeah. and complicated game. You want to put a... Uh, we're going to bother with a floor down here right now, or just do that later? Oh, I'm going to do the floor right now. You got wood, or do you want to do... Okay. I guess we're going with the Z wood. So what's the trick here? So this is like a trap where they fall down? Um, this down here is, this is actually going to be a, there's going to be just this one single entrance, basically, okay. on both sides, where you have to actually drop down into the building. And then you go up and you got two walls. Zombies will always come to the walls and just keep on just jumping up and down. There. Yeah. As long as you're not down here, because then they'll drop down. Oh, cool. Now that I got that layer... Bum, bum, bum. Just for the extra added protection here. Yeah. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'll put out a bench. Let me just make the workbench. Okay. And then um, get working on making some back wall. Oh, yeah, we need some of that. You want wood? We should do a wood back wall. Stone wall. I don't think I have very much stone actually. Where's my stone? Huh. I think the wood wall looks best anyway. Let's just do the wood wall. Yeah, no doubt. I just created one door and ran out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I got some here if you need it. Uh, I can handle it. Ain't got much. For some reason, I really like the trees in Terraria, and I always, I always want to cut down the ones that ain't got the tops to them. Yeah, well, what's what's the idea behind that? I mean, the ones with the puffballs drop acorns, and the ones that don't yep. do not. So you really have to kind of keep a farm going. Have, have, you, run in, have you ever run into any of the Sky Islands yet? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't seen anything like that yet. It's, usually, I'm underground. But, mm. um, yeah, I've run across the surface several times and haven't seen anything like that yet. Have you? Well, yeah, definitely. Um, That's they where are, the goodies are found, right? Well, there's, there's uh, like, st usually, like, stone buildings on yeah. them. Uh, Pre-generated, they have chests in them that you can just... Ooh, see, find uh, secrets and find, treasures and stuff. I can't find any magic stuff in my game. I'm totally, <laughs> I've been totally gypped. <laughs> Although, actually, in the last one I did, I found two chests, and then I got killed, and I couldn't get back down there. Yeah, well, just wait until you find the like the Hermes boots and the cloud in a bottle. Yeah, I did find it in a different game. I have the Hermes boots, and... Um, Oop, neighbors. And uh, what else I found? A boomerang, which is awesome. I love that thing. Oh, the boomerang. It's it's all right. I prefer it's fun. the guns. Yeah, it's so fun. Well, <laughs> I'm not even close to the guns yet. <laughs> oh, by the way, here's another little trick. If you take a torch and set it right in front of a door like this. Yeah, that blocks them. Well, when you open it, when you're when you're on the outside of it. Yeah. You have to be facing away from the door to be able to open it. Oh. You can't open it inside. It, the torch blocks it. Yeah. And so the uh, zombies won't be able to open them from the outside. But they can normally open them in a blood moon. That's the only time, though, right? Yep. That's the only time they'll so ever they open so them. So they're not smart the enough place. to turn around and open it with their butts. 
but, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> but you get a like a goblin invasion. That's that's They're, when they don't doors care. Don't they just kick happen. it right down anyway. Yep. And goblin invasions, as far as I saw, are kind of major. <laughs> I mean, hundreds of goblins. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. I haven't even seen any video of it yet. Kind of want to be surprised. All right, what <laughs> else do we need here? I've got um, make a furnace. Um, got enough for furnace and oh, I, I got some. Actually, got some copper. Torches. I mean, some iron ore. Twenty iron ore. Nice. So yeah. I could probably oh make the furnace. Oh, I just threw it at you. <laughs> I <laughs> always stop. do that. <laughs> Instead of pick, putting it in my hot bar and placing it. Oh, man. I and don't think I have any. No, I don't. Okay. But we can make brick. I've got six iron bars now. Gonna need more um, wood. With, yeah, with two iron and I think... How much? I think it's like 10 wood or something like that. You can make a chest. Yeah. Well, I can make an, uh, an anvil now. So might as well mm. do that. Yeah, that'll be a good idea too. Hot bar, please. There we go. Um. So, but well, that's it though. I have no more. I only have two iron. I'm not going to get any iron weapons or tools yet. Must dig. Oh yeah, we can go straight down from right here, pretty much, and yep. we'll uh, we'll start running into stuff quickly. Added to that, strip mining works really, really good. Does it? Yep. You're probably not the strip mining type, but nope, <laughs> not generally. Um, usually just pick a spot, dig straight down, you'll run into a major cave. Yeah, yeah. I was watching um, Welsh Pixie do her strip mining. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. I just don't normally do that because I'd rather just kind of run around in the open and see what I can find. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to go grab a little bit more wood up here if I don't die first. Oh, there's the real tall trees on the other side. On the, on the left side? Yep. Fighting two eyeballs here. I'm going to have to go through anyway. I'm opening doors with my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I like that trick. Keep the zombies out on yeah, the blood moon. Oh, sure you never know when they'll come up. I mean, I've had, you know, small hour-long sessions where I've had three blood moons in a row. Really? Yeah. And then other times, you know, I could play for two hours and not see one at all. You know, if I recall, I think one of my very first games, early, 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 I had a, a Blood Moon. And I was like, what is going on? This I'm, this couldn't possibly be how this game is. It's way too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it is difficult. You die seriously easy. Yeah. No, that's what I like about it, though. I like, I like the adventure aspect. Gotta have some threat, constant threat. You never know when you're gonna get attacked. Gotta have remember you, which keys do what here. Left key, right key. Have you found uh, the lowest levels yet? No, I've been into like the stony dirt area. That was about as far as I've been. Is it like got like grayish with black stones in yep. the background? Yep, exactly. I haven't yeah. seen any lava or anything like that yet. Wow. I know. <laughs> it's, you know, I play slowly, and I'm just yeah, I'm not in any rush, and I don't really have that much time to play, so... And I'm, you know, I'm taking my time. Ooh. Found a pocket of copper. 